Hello friends, Andrew Demeter here today. Super excited to be sharing with you guys this food truck chatbot template that I've been working on recently. I live here in Washington, DC in the city. There's tons of food trucks around, but there's a big problem. They're always coming and going, changing locations every day of the week practically. And it's tough to keep track of as a customer, right? I don't know where the food truck is. I don't know what specials they're offering, etc. It makes it very complex. So whether you're a food truck owner yourself, a food truck driver, or perhaps even the marketing agency running these campaigns for food trucks, this chatbot is a solution to this problem. Basically, it allows users to input their location and then based on where the food truck is on that day of the week, we can send proximity-based broadcasts and messages and value offers to these users so we can reach them at the right place at the right time. So without further ado, let's actually jump in and show you in concrete terms what this chatbot can actually do and how it works for users. So first thing that users will see when they get started is just a basic branded line welcoming them into the bot, a logo. Obviously you can fully customize and replace all these different assets, whether it's text or you know the images themselves. And then it's gonna ask us a question. Hey, are you ready to eat? I'm gonna say, yeah. In fact, I actually did just eat lunch, but hey, always room for more. And then it's gonna prompt prompt me to share my location if I so choose. So I'm gonna say, yes, please. I would like to get notified when the food truck is near me. And then I'm gonna click this send location button right here. Now what this does is whether the user's on desktop or mobile, it'll open up this map where the user can set their current location. They can also enter it manually. And then once they do that, it's gonna confirm that saying, okay, hey, this is your current uh, location and most importantly, zip code. And then I'm going to click confirm. Now this is very important data for the food truck to have in this chatbot and I'll show you exactly why, obviously I've alluded to it already, but I'll show you exactly why in a little bit. But first, once we enter that location data, it takes us to the food trucks menu right here. So let's say that I'd like to order a side. I can click see sides right here. And let's say that I'm interested in this half and half serving of meat. I can click that and purchase it right within Messenger in the bot itself, which is super useful. Obviously, you'll notice some of these fields like shipping address and say phone are irrelevant in this case. Of course, you can customize and delete these as well. It's all a drag and drop interface. The same is true with these pictures and text as well. So really easy to customize this to fit your food trucks branding. So just to show you the basic navigation as well, I'll navigate back uh, to the main menu. And again, very simple stuff. Now, one thing that many people overlook when creating chatbots is the ability to process language naturally. In other words, can the bot respond as if the user is just messaging one of their friends naturally using text instead of these button clicks? Because believe it or not, a lot of people don't click buttons. They just expect the bot to respond intelligently. And unfortunately, that's not always the case. But in this bot, I have set up about 10 frequently asked questions, you could call them, uh, that allows the user to get those important answers to questions that they need. So let's say, for example, I wanna know what vegetarian options do you have? I can type that in and within just a second here, it's gonna respond back saying, hey, these are the options that we have that are vegetarian. So obviously you see it does that beautifully and super well. Uh, other things that I can ask, let's say, you know, uh, what drinks do you have? So what drinks do you have? Obviously that was one of the options on the menu, but again, people don't always click buttons. So if they type it, they'll still get the same meaningful response back. Another thing that I could type is catering, but I'll show you how that works a little bit later and how you can actually request, uh, you know, or become a catering lead essentially for the food truck. So again, more on that in a second. But in the meantime, I do wanna show you something really exciting, which is obviously the big value out of this bot, which is the admin panel. This is a password protected area in the bot, which will allow a, you know, food truck driver, food truck owner, again, marketing agency, if you're managing this, to go in and send a broadcast to users within the food truck's current radius or zip code of location. So I'm gonna go in now, not as a user, but as again, a food truck driver, let's say, who's going to a new location for the day, I'm going to enter my location. So let's say, let's say that it still falls within the same zip code. So let's just move it slightly and make sure that it's still in that 200, okay, so it actually did change. So let's edit that and make sure it's still in the 237 zip code here. And once we do that, I'll update it. It'll take a second to load the map. Great, so I'm gonna adjust this a little bit closer to the original location. 
And now, okay, it says, yes, we're in 237. Great, so I'm gonna confirm that. Again, on the admin side of things, it'll ask us a few questions to basically construct a an informational broadcast message, message to be sent to users. So for hours, let's say 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., and then it's gonna ask, what message would you like to send? In this case, we could just type a normal message, like uh, let's say, come by for free barbecue. But something that I wanna show you that's really cool in this bot as well is the ability to use what are called user attributes. So basically ways to personalize your messaging depending on the individual user that you're talking to. So instead of just typing this, which would be you know cool and okay, let's use something again called a user attribute. We can use uh, first name and then we can say first name, come by for free barbecue. Now if I uh, send that, what actually happens? Well, look at this. Because my name is Andrew, and this will obviously change dynamically for each user receiving the broadcast, it'll greet them by their first name. So again, this is a preview of the message before we actually send it. So Andrew, come by for free barbecue. This is our location, these are our hours. I'm gonna click send there. Again, notice the uh, zip code that we're using is identical to that zip code that I entered as a user in the beginning of the bot. So within about a minute here, because it takes some time to propagate through the servers, I will then get a new message in the bot here uh, because I matched that original location where the food truck currently is, and it'll say, hey, this is the message. Of course, it'll send without this message preview heading right here. So while we wait for that, other things that I can talk about is uh, the catering. So that's the one thing that I neglected to go into detail just yet, and I don't wanna go there until we get the uh, message back that we just sent, because otherwise it'll cause some issues. So basically what the catering does is it allows the user, if they naturally type in something like, do you cater? Can I get catering for my event, etc.?" If the user types that in, it will then take them to a part of the bot where they can basically fill out a catering lead form. So things like, you know, what's your phone number? What's your email? How many guests are you expecting? What's the date? How long is the event supposed to be, et cetera? And then obviously based on all that data gathered, it can then shoot an email to, you know, the food truck driver, the food truck owner, et cetera. So that's a great way of generating leads in the bot as well. Uh, and then I'll mention one more thing about retargeting with that as well. So anyway, now we finally got the broadcast. It says, Andrew, uh, come by for free barbecue, everything that we expected. The one really neat thing here as well to sort of take away the mental thought process of getting lunch and making things ultimately easier for customers of the food truck is this get directions button right here. So again, since we've already captured the user's current location and we now have the food truck's location, we can actually give the user directions to the food truck for say lunch. So now we click on that. Of course, same is true on mobile. If the user clicks that button, it'll open it up and give them a step-by-step -step directions based on their current location to the food truck. So really, really cool stuff right there. Again, the last thing that I wanna show you is catering. So if I say, do you offer catering? I type that in just naturally. And then what happens is obviously it will say, you know, hey, our catering services can satisfy any budget. And then if I want to, I can say moo here. Again, it's all on brand stuff and go through the various, uh, you know, requirements of what data is needed to capture that lead. But instead of doing that, because that's just gonna be a long process and I've already described all the details, I wanna show you uh, the retargeting that I mentioned for the catering form. So if I type in abandon, obviously this is just a brute force command. It's not how users would actually get here because it's done automatically in the background. But if the user starts to fill out that catering lead form, but they don't actually finish it, within 24 hours, we're gonna send them a message that says this. You know, again, greeting them by their first name. Andrew, I didn't, I didn't, uh, or I can't read. Andrew, I guess you don't want me at your event anymore. So sort of guilting them into completing the catering form. And then we have this button here to easily finish that form. So again, a great way to boost conversions when generating leads through the bot. So I think I've extensively covered everything in this bot just to give you guys a you know, overarching review of everything this bot has to offer. You have the ability to capture the user's location when they first get onto the bot. Obviously that's useful data when the food truck is near their location. You can send them proximity-based broadcasts. You can personalize those broadcasts using their first name and other data as well, such as their last name. Um, other things is you obviously have the password protected admin panel. So obviously that's secure. Nobody can go in and send broadcasts on your behalf. 
Of course, you also have the built-in NLP, the natural language processing, which allows the bot to intelligently respond to you know, different questions that ordinarily it wouldn't be able to do. And then finally, you have those personalized directions in the broadcast being sent. So users can simply you know, click on that button and, and get step-by-step -step directions, whether they're walking, driving, et cetera, which makes their lives a lot easier and ultimately increases your profitability and sales. So that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this demo. Hopefully you found it useful and valuable. Again, I think it's a huge asset to have, whether you're a food truck owner, a food truck driver, or a marketing agency running campaigns or ads for these food trucks. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and take care.